Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and the 2021 Chicago Pro is underway, guys. This is the 212 division, the men's 212 division, and I have to thank the Instagram page, Bodybuilders Without Borders, all kinds of video footage for you guys to check out if you want. I just post these videos, or these pictures, I don't, uh, I don't steal the uh, video footage from him, but I did uh, request for these pitchers, and anyway, guys, this is your top four. That is Ahmed El Sadani, and this guy here, Kareth Bajo, and I apologize if I got his last name wrong. And that is Keon Pearson, of course, and John Jewett. I'm definitely uh, familiar with a couple of these guys, and uh, Ahmed and Kareth. I believe this is the first time I've uh, heard of them. Like I said before, guys, I want to cover 212. I would eventually like to cover all these divisions. But I mean, 212, men's classic, trying my hardest to get familiarized with all these guys. But anyway, guys, you can't really judge these ones. Let's run through the poses that I did have. And I could easily say that Ahmed is winning this one just from this pitcher. But I mean, a close pitcher might show a different story as far as conditioning is concerned. Hey, Keon looks good, the former champion. Like I said, run through the poses. And you can't really tell anything. Kareth looks good. I think Kareth, uh, the wheels, the balance, I think he would be your best bet in the side chest. Although, Ahmed looks good. I think the angle of the shot might be uh, creating some more size for Ahmed. Hard to say. Let's have a quick look at the back developments. And in my opinion, this was an area that Keon really needed to improve and when you look at this lineup, with all due respect to the champion, he's your Chicago Pro champion, is Keon Pearson. Looks a little underwhelming in a shot like this. From what I can tell with conditioning as well as size. Go to the rear lat spread. Now Keon looks better in this one here. He doesn't look as wide as Ahmed or even John Jewett. John Jewett looks solid. Conditioning wise, from all you can tell from these pitchers. But I mean, hey, this is... Uh, what we have for right now Ahmed looks massive massive if, if his conditioning is uh is as any good as the other guys I mean you can't tell but if it is I think you know he could slip in a win side tricep this is the uh the way that the IFBB lists off the, sh the shots aesthetically speaking Keon could get an edge I don't see him as the winner in this one I like Ahmed I like Kareth Hey, John Jewett even looks good. Keon looks decent. Go to the abs and thigh. And here is one that I would say for sure. Ahmed. Ahmed all the way. I was uh, looking Ahmed at Ahmed size-wise. I think he could take it. I like Kareth. Kareth looks good. Maybe not in this shot here. Keon? I don't know, guys. I think he's going to lose his title. John Jewett? He looks solid as well. Most muscular... To be honest, guys, I think the judges, with the, with the way they have these guys placed, it looks like it's a Kareth and Keon Pearson matchup, but I don't know. I think things could change. I think they should put John Jewett there in the center. I think John Jewett will place first, to be honest, and I'm going to guess Kareth in second. And I can't, I can't put uh, Keon fourth. You guys would get mad at me. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. I believe that. Ahmed El Sadani looks pretty darn good. It's going to be tough. There's going to be three guys here, in my opinion, and I believe Keon. He is the former champion, so there will be some politics. I believe he will slip in a third, maybe even second place. Anyway, guys, I will keep you up to date with the uh, men's open and the winner of this uh, division as well. Have a great day.